In 1999, Toy Story 2 was released worldwide and it was a successful film like its predecessor. What I'm here to talk about today was an alternate and more gruesome death to one of the movie's characters. That character was Stinky Pete, aka, The Prospector. If you may have already watched the film, he was a character from Woody's franchise. He was voiced by Kelsey Grammer, who also voiced another villain named Sideshow Bob from The Simpsons. I was an intern at Pixar. I recently got my degree in animation and I loved my job. Sometime during the production of Toy Story 2, a man came up to me and told me to submit morbid ideas, but I refused, saying that he might make me lose my job. I found a disc on my table, when it was time to go home. The disc said, for you. This was strange, so I came back home with the disc I had in my suitcase. I plugged it into my DVD player and it played suddenly. Alternate Villain Death, the DVD. The disc turns out to be the alternate version of Toy Story 2, where Buzz and the toys try to save Woody from the bag. When Woody was saved and Stinky Pete was apprehended by Buzz, Woody promises him the true meaning of playtime. The crew then exit the airport and into the dump with Jesse and Bullseye. They go to the incinerator, where Woody told them to go there. Stinky Pete was screaming. No! 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 I was crying hysterically, when he said those words. Pleading for the toys to let him go. The toys then turn to the screen like they're looking at me. Woody then said. Is this what you want? Do you want us to drop him into the incinerator? I started crying. No, 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 no. I didn't want this to happen. Buzz then said. Too bad, we're dropping him down. After Buzz said those words, he lets go of Stinky Pete and I could hear him get hurt, as he bumped through the garbage. He lands onto the fiery pit in the middle and this is where things turned from bad to worst. Pete was screaming like crazy, as parts of his plastic body started melting off, revealing skeletal-like bones. Parts of his clothes started catching on fire, as it started ripping off of his plastic body. His beard was also catching on fire and it was burned all the way. His eyes rolled down his face and they burst like egg yolks. The toys were looking at him with pleasure, as they smile and watch him burn to death. They were standing there, most probably, because one of the toys might have pushed the stop button of the conveyor belt. The final shot was Stinky Pete's skeleton, as it started melting away, never to be seen again. That is, where the movie had backed for normal played. I returned the disc later the next day, and I showed it to all my employees. They were shocked to see this and they started finding the person who made this demented disc. They managed to find the person responsible and the person was fired from his job. John Lasseter then ordered the crew including me to destroy the disc. Don't worry, I'm okay. I'm still working as an intern. If you find a copy somehow, don't watch it.